Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're done with side missions for the moment, so for main missions we need to meet Smiley in his office and see what he's found about the Ruziga bombing. And I need to use the NSN device to find more information out about Miller. So, let's head there. And on the way to, I have one Praxis, I want to spend that on hacking. So, yeah, so at the moment we can do cameras, we can disable turrets, but I want to get the final piece of the puzzle. I want to be able to disable robots. I wonder if Arya has hey, anything Adam. new to say. I heard about Rucker. That's terrible, Adam. He was our standard bearer. What direction will the movement take now? I don't know. I spoke to Miller as he was leaving. He told me he was going to Gollum City to talk to the state police. Damn, I hope he has better luck than you and Smiley did. Because if you think that Prague is bad now, imagine what'll happen if reaction to Rucker's death gets violent. I'd rather not. Yeah, Fubar is what'll happen. What a week. And meanwhile, I'm going crazy waiting for Dr. Ozen to get back to me with my test results. <sighs> How did it go with Dr. Ozen? She ran some tests? I swear to God, Adam. These tests they give me are more stressful than being in the field. When I'm out there, I have immediate feedback every second. And when you're doing these tests, they just stare at you and take notes. I don't like it. Nobody does. When do you get the results? Dr. Ozen didn't say. I don't know, hopefully in a day or two. Try and stay positive. Always. So what do you think of our new doctor? What do you mean? I just wonder what she's really doing here. Things are heating up here in Prague. We can use all the help we can get. I'd be worried if Interpol didn't send a psychologist. Besides, I spoke to her for an hour. I like her. It just seems suspicious to me, that's all. We've never needed a psychologist before. Who's she watching? Come on, Adam. You keep talking like that, and Chang's gonna change all the locks again. There are 87 agents in Prague, and I just finished handing out the new keycards. <laughs> okay. I'll leave it alone, then. I should get going. Okay. Talk to you later. I should talk with Peter Chang again as well, see if they have anything new to say. I'm sure they will. And I wonder if Singh is still here. I think... I think when this person first appeared, for just a split second, I think they didn't have their hair. I think their hair loaded in later. Eliza's blog is reporting that Talis Rucker was killed by an illegal augmentation freely available on the black market. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll start coordinating with state, see if there's anything we can do. Oh, right, there's nobody in there. Uh, Peter Chang is up above. Let's go see the psychiatrist, see if they're around here. Are they still angry at their computer? Adam, I'm glad you came back. <laughs> yep, they're still angry at their computer. <laughs> wow, two in one day. Did maintenance take the plague cross off my door? I'm sorry. Arya was here earlier, and now you. That's two agents to walk through my door willingly. You know, while I have you, I'd love to talk with you about Rucker. That's actually why I'm here. You're kidding, right? Because this never happens. Sometimes I literally feel like a dentist. I have a suspicion about who might be behind the hit on Rucker. A name. I link came back with nothing, but... But maybe I can use some of my shrink your tricks to see what I can dig up. Maybe draw up a profile for you? So who's the guy? Victor Marchenko. Oh, he sounds bad. No sweat, it's nice to feel like I'm part of something. I'll let you know if I have any luck. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. I don't have a good feeling about the temperature. You know my door's always open. Except, of course, when it's not. <laughs> Still love that line, even though that's the second time we've heard it. Uh, yeah, let's go see... Oh, actually... Yeah, let's go to Daniel Fletcher, a.k.a. Smiley first, and then up to Peter Chang. Yes. Oh, hey. Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to... Checking my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. 
Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. A Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Static watches are custom-made, locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. That is clever. I thought that looked like gears and stuff. I was wondering what I'd be doing in a bomb, but yeah, low tech timing mechanism. And that just made me think of all the watches we've seen all over the place. I've seen them. Everywhere. In fact, I think the very first place I saw them was in Adam's apartment at the very beginning. Which reminds me, we haven't been back to our apartment in 50 years. I wonder if we have any new emails or anything. Actually, I haven't even been to my desk in forever inside of uh, TF29. I should go check that. I wonder if the twist is that maybe my special augs allow other people to take control of me. And so, all those watches back at our apartment is a clue. Adam Jensen was mind-controlled, and I made the bomb. <gasps> if that happens, I'm going to uninstall the game. Adam, good to see you. So, we're done on this floor. So Peter Cheng and our desk, and also let's see if Singh is still here. Probably not, they're probably on some other mission. Um, cybercrime Peter Cheng. Thanks for taking care of those conspiracy nuts, Jensen. Man, the thought of someone knowing where we are, I mean, I'm supposed to be digging into this Janus hacking collective, but I can't do that if I keep looking over my shoulder, waiting for the next bomb to go off. Any progress on Janus? Why? What have you heard? Don't get jumpy. Just curious. Janus has officially hacked into my sleep. I wake up trying to figure out who's tracking who. Sometimes I think I'm this close, and then nothing. But I am starting to learn one thing. And what's that? The less I talk about how it's going, the better it seems to be going. How did you get started here exactly? Miller came to me in prison. Helping him set up a cyber crimes unit was my way out. That's a pretty good deal. Sure, if you're looking to exchange one set of impenetrable walls for another. At least in prison, I didn't owe anyone anything. Here, yeah, I don't know. They do a good job of reminding me that I have a lot to be grateful for. You're saying they hired you because they knew you wouldn't ask questions? No, no. Maybe. Look, I do ask questions. A lot of questions. Just not always out loud. You were brought in specifically to track down Janus. You ever worked with them in the past? I'm not one for collective ideals. Chang looks out for Chang. Sometimes our routes ran parallel. Ships in the night kind of deal. Is the collective as big a threat as people say? People like to romanticize these kinds of hacktivist organizations. But you don't see it that way. They're anonymous, powerful, and convinced they have a stranglehold on what's right and wrong. In my opinion, that makes them very dangerous. Get some sleep, Chang. You sound like you can use it. Could be anyone, really. Yep, looks like Singh's not here anymore. They were right here before. This is our office, though. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, no, that's not Singh. Just some random agent. Any new emails? Uh, shooting competition? No, we've already read that. 
No, looks like it's all old stuff. Yep, seen it all. Okay, let's go do the NSN server thing. Actually, well, they're not the most cooperative people in the world. Yeah, we've seen it already. Who are you talking to? And why is there a random single coffee filter that looks used on your desk? Think they would mind? That's got to raise my Access granted. Do they really not mind? Yeah, sorry, I'm just commandeering your computer agent. I have an undercover operative in Ark, but I haven't heard from her since the rioting started. Yeah, it just dominated them. Just look them in the eye and stand in front of their computer, and now you own it. Duggan McCready, heads up, Miller just gave me word he's sending Jensen into Golem to extract Talos Rucker for questioning. If that doesn't work or something happens to Jensen, we're going in to exterminate those Ark cockroaches once and for all. Uh, Mac, reassure me that this new bombing doesn't mean the Dubai investigation is going to be given to Muscat. Not a chance. Those were our people we lost. The investigation stays with us. I have Miller's word on it. from this person to James Miller. Uh, Sir, Mac has just instructed me to put together a mission in Dubai. I asked him why we were given this assignment, but he didn't have any explanation. With all due respect, sir, shouldn't Muscat be handling this? The reason your superior didn't have the explanation you wanted is that he knows better than to question orders. Just listen to what McCready tells you and get on with it. Shooting competition. This is to all staff, so we've already... Yeah, we all know someone who died in that action. We've already read that. Okay, you can have your computer back. Can you actually imagine doing that to someone in real life? Just hacking their computer in front of them and just taking it and they're just like awkwardly milling about. I wonder how many other computers I haven't hacked here. Probably some nut. Um, wait, how do I get there? Of course the police Oh, this way. There. Anomaly detected. Yeah, we've seen it already. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Strick, state police arrested a woman named Irinka Markova trying to cross a checkpoint out. with Let fake papers. She's been in ARC for 18 months. Alexi has footage of her in the background at one of Rucker's early press conferences. The cops didn't want to release her to us, of course, but I pulled rank. She should be here pretty soon. Director Miller's mandate with That's Markova is he wants to know the full extent of Ark's connection to the bombing. Wait a minute. Irina. Irina Markova. Isn't that the person that I gave the, um, the forged papers to? The one who was down in the basement reenacting like a play? So apparently she's been an arc. Huh. This is before I gave them the the validated passes, of course. Yeah, we've seen it already. Vince, last night I leaned on the local arc sympathizer to see if he knew anything about the bombing, and he gave me two names. Vlasta, a prog smuggler with some sort of connection to the Diwali. An ambitious, upwardly mobile neon back. smuggler goes by the name Charnabog. Some Apparently they're having some sort of turf war. Nothing I can use, but I hope you find it helpful, unless you have some more intel from your end. Strick, thanks for the heads up, but I know all about Vlasta. He's in my crosshairs already. It's only a matter of time. And I forget Charnabog. He's just a bullshit rumor, a dead end. Unbelievable. Not again. I don't think Charnabog is a rumor. I've seen a lot of correspondence between... I don't know. Oh, actually, I don't know if I actually have seen correspondence directly with Charnabog, but I've definitely, I've definitely seen them mentioned a lot with regards to Neon. It's not going to help our relationship with state police. Okay. Um. Oh right. I want to see if I can break into Miller's place. Oh right. Actually, I don't even need to break in. I have their key card, right? Yeah. That is so going to show up on records. 
I mean, this place is so high tech. Even nowadays, I'm pretty sure everybody pretty much just logs keycard entries and exits, right? I'm sure far in the future, it's going to be even more advanced. They're going to know in a, in a second that Miller, Miller's keycard, activated their door while Miller is somewhere completely else, flying to Golem City, or already in Golem City. That's going to throw up a huge red flag, and if anybody checks footage, they're going to see me going into their office. Just saying, bad idea, but not like I have an option. Alright, Miller. What do you got for us? Yeah, main quest is to use the machine through there. Hmm. Wonder how I open that. Maybe a secret switch? Aha! Here, 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 here. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Four X scope. Useless to me, but I can sell it. Is that a light or or what is that? I guess it's just a weird little light. Modern business review. Hacks of aggression. In the business world, there is no distinction between hacktivist and corporate spy. Both damage businesses, banks, and governments. However, quantifying the financial cost of computer crimes is very nearly impossible. Even though no one disputes the fact that hackers are the biggest challenge facing corporations today. Even in the face of the severe economic downturn following the AUG incident. Estimates of losses range from the fairly conservative, up to 900 billion, to the almost unimaginable, hundreds of trillions. But the real danger is the increase in the number of hacker groups operating in the shadows of the cyber world. Hundreds of these collective, uh, collectives operate on a nation-state level. That is, their technical capabilities match and surpass many countries. Within the hacker underworld, they're superstars. It remains to be seen how cybersecurity measures can be tightened to prevent hack attacks, whether they be denial of service, identity theft, or bank fraud. This thing is too small, there's got to be a bunch of firewalls. Anomaly detected. Yep. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Uh. Oh, oh, there we go. Wasn't scrolling down for some reason. Uh, from James Miller to Joseph Manderley. Joseph, my access credentials are messed up. I tried to save time and grab the ARC report myself, but my L3 creds are down for some reason. I'll need temp access while someone official looks into it. No need for temp creds. I sorted it. Here's the report from the US. Now you have what you need. I'd appreciate some quick progress. Update in 24 hours. Ah, right. This is the files that James Miller was were requesting about the ARC incursion into VersaLife, which was happening stateside, and Miller said ARC doesn't operate stateside. Uh, let's see, full forensics pending, casualty data incomplete, client secure viewer only open for validation process. Okay, can't do much with that. From Miller to tech security, um, oh, this is about their issue accessing files. Can't access files within our own organization? How does this even happen? It's ridiculous. 
This is Martine Pedersen. I'm doing a personal follow-up to try and get the issue sorted as quickly as possible. Our initial check was carried out within five minutes of receipt of your message. Uh, the problem must be a deeper permissions glitch that we have not hit before. In the meantime, a valid solution is to ask Mr. Manderley for a temporary credential. Apologies for the inconvenience, and we'll be sure to update you when the problem has been resolved. That is super sketchy. I feel like this quote-unquote permissions problem was as a result of them trying to buy time to forge documents or something. Right, because didn't, um, the stuff that we read, the correspondence that we read in Miller's computer at their apartment, when they're talking with one of their old friends requesting information. Actually, yeah, they were requesting information from their friend and saying that, like, I can't get into the servers. I don't have permission, and I was thinking that Miller was lying just to keep everything off-grid, but it sounds like they weren't, maybe? Seems like they actually were having a tech problem. But, um, yeah, the person they were talking with, the friend trying to pull up these ARC files, I remember them saying, like, I can't find anything for a while. And then a follow-up email saying, oh, it, it finally, something about ARC popped up. Here's a report. So they're making it sound like the people just filed it at the last minute, and that's why it just suddenly popped up. But I think it's probably more likely that they were forging it. Director Miller, with respect, sir, I believe it is time we reviewed the Adam Jensen situation. Huh. Six months ago, I expressed reservations about extending him an invitation to join TF-29, citing the anti-AUG atmosphere in the city. Jensen's disregard for authority and the difficulties in joint management of a unique asset, particularly one who is occasionally authorized to manage his own assignments. I feel that all of my pessimistic predictions have come to pass. I am not suggesting we dismiss him, but it is past time to, at the very least, clearly define his position within the TF-29 hierarchy. I'm eager to meet to discuss this at your earliest convenience. Ooh, got another Praxis. I think I'll just save it up for now. Don't have anything in mind that I want to spend it on. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different. This is the place we saw near the very beginning of the game, that big cutscene. Where all those... Sh that, that shadowy cabal was talking about their plans for the world. Oh, look at the design of this floor. Neat. These chairs look exceptionally uncomfortable. It's a good thing it's just a hologram. Look at those noises. Guide, neural subnet. Find and access all data towers. Use remote hack on server blocks to clear a path and access out of reach areas. Be mindful of security devices. If they're triggered, an alarm will sound and all hackable obstacles will be reset. Huh. Interesting. 
I was kind of expecting this to just, just be like a cutscene or something, but this is a whole thing. I'm also curious about this part. It says, it seems like using remote hacking is an integral part of doing this. But what if I didn't have remote hacking? Would I just be screwed or what? I mean, it wouldn't make it so you couldn't progress in the game, surely. Would they? Oh, that's cool. All the cracks in the wall that shine that sort of electric turquoise color, they only appear when you get close. So from here, it just looks like a relatively normal wall and then poof. Fades away and fades in. So that's my goal, right? This place is so cool looking. Everything just like... Everything flashes and moves and... All this futuristic stuff. One of five. So cool. Yeah, I'm supposed to find nobody in here, but I get the feeling I'm going to encounter somebody. Are these stackable techno boxes to reach areas? <laughs> they are. Storage cube. Make weird noises. Well, look at the ground, too. There's like this interesting texture to it, but if you jump up a little bit away from it, it disappears. Uh, yeah, so I don't have my high jump anymore. I'm assuming I, yeah, I don't have any augments or anything. So I want to get up there. I could probably just stack some crates, but there's probably a better way. Oh, I can't hack these lasers. I don't even know what I just activated. I thought it was the camera, but it wasn't. large. Whoops. That's not good. I think it resets everything, right? Well, done everything. Too hard to get through, just a matter of timing. Oh, crap. It's <laughs> so weird that I'm Miller. Actually, I probably shouldn't toggle this, right? No, I want that up. Oh, 
Oh, I think I just blocked one of the cameras. Yeah, nice. Three of five. We got the one in the center. That's where I came from. Uh, there's a downstairs over here. Yeah, there's probably one down here. my goal here to get up there can I do it when I'm on it let's do this one oh hello Drago good oh I think this shot just got me to the other side of this little laser array. Okay, so just the one in the center. what good it does me being up here is there an open window gotta get past the lasers can I jump and break the glass or something what are the secrets up there if you brought a couple boxes up here you could probably jump up to those things but that's certainly not where you're supposed to go. Oh, whoa. Okay, those things have no collision. Oh, there is an open part. I just missed it. Yeah, right here. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Bursa Life? Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be on to him. Then it's time for him to use the orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. 
They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And go. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can, and I'll contact you with a location. Yeah, so not surprisingly, Manderly is extremely dirty. I mean, we already pretty much knew that. Uh, I think we did just learn the name, though, of whatever weapon or drug or thing was used to kill Rucker. The Orchid. So they have a contact, someone inside Ark. Maybe Marchenko? Possibly? And they used the Orchid to kill them. Adam! What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Suppose I could ask you the same thing, Delara. I'm worried about Vince Black, the head of our organized crime division. I was leaving a message for Director Miller asking if he's heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only he never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? I am super suspicious about them. But, alright, yeah, sure. Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy. Kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Leon is waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black's psyche valve that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take. I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Manderley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... They work for Menderly, sort of. That's not a good sign. Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderly are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderly started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderly came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. 
If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me. They are so shady. How did they even get in here? Unless I just straight up didn't lock the office behind me. What, do they have Miller's keycard as well? I guess it doesn't seem to auto-lock. Still, though, that's the, only the tiniest part of what makes them so shady. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to look into Vincent Black, 